Hello and welcome to video number 7 in Mr Barton's autograph video tutorial series. Um, this week we are going to look at just some of the different things you can do with the edit axes menu. We touched briefly upon this last week so I thought we'll have a closer look at it this time around. Ok so I've got autograph opened up in standard mode. I'm going to get rid of this key at the bottom of the screen. Right click, get rid of show key. OK, and what I've got there is my set of axes going from minus 7 to 7 on the X, minus 4 to 4 on the Y. Notice that the um, we're in equal aspect mode, which means, as we've talked about before, the X and Y axis have the same scale on it. These, these minor grid lines are square. Right, so if we have a little wander up to the top here to the Edit Axes menu and give it a click, you'll see here that you can change the X minimum and the X maximum, the Y minimum, and the Y maximum. Now the Y is a nice number and the X is a horrible number because the way Autograph works is you kind of, when you're on um, equal aspect mode, you define the Y and the X kind of fits in around that. I'll show you what I mean. If I change my Y to minus 8 to 8 and don't do anything else but click OK, I'm still in equal aspect mode. And what's happened now, the Y's have gone from minus 8 to 8, but if I now click the X's, I've gone from minus 14 to 14, okay? Now, that screen looks rubbish because of these lines going on here. So let's let's sort that out. If I click again on my edit axes, you get this spacing area. Now, if there are ticks in these little boxes, that means autograph's in control and it thinks it knows best. Well, every now and autograph's great, but every now and again it doesn't know best. So let's get rid of these and let's put ourselves back in control. Um, the numbers are the kind of spacings for when numbers appear on the axes. So that two means every second number on the axes will be marked on the y-axis. So we'll change that to a one. And on the x-axis, 10, that's far too wide. So I think I'm going to go for that for a one as well. And pips are your minor grid lines when they appear. So every one number, a pip is appearing on the y-axis. And if I just move away, you'll see there every one pips are coming. And on the x-axis, and that's why it looks rubbish, it's every 10. So I think I'm going to go for a 1 and a 1, like that. Click OK, and things are looking a little bit better there. Okay. If I come out of um, equal aspect mode, I then have a bit more flexibility for how I can change things. I can now change my, for example, my x-axis to go from minus 30 to 30. And have a look there. Now the problem, of course, there is far too many numbers going on. Um, so if I just sort that out, I'll go for numbers, say, every five, and uh, pips every one, see how that looks. That's not too bad. And that may be more useful to you, depending on the kind of work you're doing to have your axes set out in that way. Notice now, of course, though, that they, um, they're not square. The axes were not in equal aspect mode anymore. Okay. Oh, I've only got two minutes left, so let's have a look at some of the other things I can do. Um... Up here, I've got labels. So if I don't want it to be X and Y, if I wanted it, for example, to be time and frequency, I know you won't ever want those two together, but you might, well, you wouldn't, but there you go, time and frequency, label them whatever you like. Um, again, if we go up here, labels, I can also actually change the name of my variable. So instead of having it as X, I could call it T. And then when I enter equations in, if I put T in instead of X, it will plot them on the X axis like that. So that's quite useful. Let's have another little look here. Um, so that's labels box stuff. Options, I can get rid of all the axes if I want to. They're gone there. Um, I can again in options just get rid of the Y axis. That's quite useful sometimes when you do number line work. We'll look at that um, in a few weeks. Um, and just basically have a little play around with some of this stuff. You've got your Cartesian and your Polar and all that kind of stuff um, there. You can get rid of your key, blah, blah, blah. Um, final thing I want to show you, in appearance, you can make your lines, your grid lines thicker if you want, which is quite useful. Um, you can change the font um, and size of your numbers, that's quite useful. Or you can go for a very pretty little theme that Autograph has itself, which might be a graph paper theme, something like that. Anyway, have a little experiment with the Edit Axes menu. It's very, very useful and it can get the page looking exactly how you want it. Okay, um, I think that's all for now. Sorry about my croaky voice, not feeling brilliant. Um, but I hope that was alright, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.